Thanks to those of you who stuck around for second set. I appreciate that. And who arrived for the second set. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin, for the great sound. I was just telling my friends here that uh, about your taking over the last couple months and uh, remembering how you, you, I think you were at all the shows I ever did here. I think you came to every one of them. And uh, it's like you have to really be nice to your audience because you never know. They might be hiring you the next year. So it's very important to be pleasant to the people in the audience. I'm going to, in honor of being here in Seattle for the month of September from Tucson, do uh, another song that I wrote in Seattle. This one occurred on the way to Longview, Washington in the car. Actually, I wrote it on a post-it on the steering wheel of the car, which I think is probably illegal now, and I don't recommend at all, but it's called Leave You Behind.
Thank you. We haven't done that one in a while. It's so depressing. It was a long time ago. What are you going to do? You know, you write songs and they're not, you know, they're, they may not be exactly true anymore, but you only have so many songs. And I'm sorry, but I did all the cheerful ones in the first set, so <laughs> now you're, you have to hear all of the. Slow, sad, depressing. I can do poignant. Poignant, not so much depressing. Poignant. How about poignant? This is a newer song that um, has not been recorded yet. It will be on my new CD that will come out someday, maybe at the end of the year. I played this song around all summer and uh, in some pretty hot places. It's called Knitting. And uh, I think a lot of places I went, people were like, we can't think about that right now. Can't think about knitted woolen things. Like when you play in Tucson or, you know, Texas or something. And then people promise to knit me things after I play this song, and only one person has actually done it. But uh, actually, the song is really about family. It's called knitting.
especially mine. This is what I get for trying to do this with a broken fingernail. <laughs> trying to do the same thing with one finger. Stitches and yarns weave and mingle, wrap around the lucky girl. Tie us together, shield against weather, a permanent tug in a cold, cold world. I can bake, but I never knit. Maybe I should learn to do it. Make a fluffy gift for me instead of yearning for what cannot be. And maybe I would make something for someone who also lacks a thread like this. But still, I think I will always wish for my very own hand me down family gift. Aunt or mother, sister, cousin, grandma made it all by hand. She could buy them. She doesn't. She has time and love to spend. It's just a sweater, it's just a cap, but I want someone to knit me something. I want someone to knit me something. I want someone to knit me something like that. Thank you. <laughs> okay, there won't be any more finger picking songs tonight. That was an interesting experiment. I'm going to, uh, Elle, would you like to come up and sing with me? I'm going to invite a friend up to sing with me. We're winging it. I was winging that too, so it's okay. I was winging trying to cover two strings with one finger. So this is a Christine Kane song that is about kind of following your dreams and taking risks, and uh, I really love it. Christine Kane and Steve Seskin, actually. It's called Right Out of Nowhere, and we've sung this together once. <laughs> so anyway... snowfall she packed her Chevrolet and brushed her fear away she's got a great big dream and a history of playing small and everybody seems to think she'll be back before Christmas Day well she hit that highway with every ounce of faith she could summon the courage finally comes you never see it coming right out Open your heart, have faith in everything, and you're going somewhere. All you need to know is that you're free to go. Soft summer night. The seashore, all the deadheads dancing out on the beach. He's got a 10 year tan and his own little junk store. He says, Some people got a lot to prove, and that's the way I used to be. Well, now I'm just an old hippie with a half a dozen PhDs. Some choices hold you down, some, some chances, chances set you free. Right out of nowhere Open your heart Let go of everything You're going somewhere All you need to know Is that you're free to go Open your heart 
she's hired. <laughs> I love that. I play so much alone, which has its kind of joys, but it's always, when you add a harmony, there's just something special that happens, and it's really fun. Um, this is a, another, s this is a song that you probably know, and uh, we kind of, we sang it together just casually for an event that we were at together that wasn't actually a musical event, and uh, we were just sitting in my room playing, and um, it sounded really good, so I thought we'd try it. Uh, I love playing this song. I, um, uh, you'll probably know it as a Dixie Chick song if you know it, but actually the songwriter is Susan Gibson, and I know her, and she's very cool humble person, and uh, I met her at the Woody Guthrie Folk Festival a few years ago, um, where I played the very first song I played, if you were here right at the beginning, Glad to Hear the Rain, that was the uh, their uh, first place winner in their song contest that year, it was really fun, I got to meet a lot of cool people, I got to meet Susan, and she was really awesome to me, and yeah, so uh, I told her that I play this song in all my sets, and she was like, oh, really? So... Anyway, it's called Wide Open Spaces. It's kind of a girl power song. Who doesn't know what I'm talking about? Who's never left home? Who's never struck out to find a dream? This road as a child Wide-eyed and grinning She never tired But now she won't be Coming back with a rest If these are life's lessons She'll take this test She needs Wide-open They drive away, her dad yells, check the oil. Mom stares out the window and says, I'm leaving my girl. She says it didn't seem like that long ago. When she stood there, let her all folks know she needed wide open spaces.
Thanks so much. Thank you, Robin. Yeah, Al McSherry. He's got a great voice. I think we're going to be doing some more singing together. If we can rope her in. Let's see what I have. By the way, that line in that knitting song about Katie scarfing pink and green, that's Katie, and she really does with pink and green scarf, and I never get to say that because she's like, I think this is the first show of mine she's seen in like years because I hardly ever actually play here, and she lives here. Um, but uh, it's pretty cool because it was actually the sight of that scarf that inspired that song. Although she doesn't have an Aunt Gertrude, do you? You don't? No. You have to take some license when you're writing songs, <laughs> for sure. You think it looks good, huh? <laughs> 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 but I get such mileage out of that line, it isn't all that flattering. Um, I had a couple more originals I was going to do, but they're, they're finger-picking songs. I, d I, don't, I don't dare try another one, so I'm going to substitute instead a song by one of my favorite songwriters named Richard Schindel. If you don't know who he is, you should. If you do, then you know what I'm talking about. One of his many very cool songs is called The Ballad of Mary Magdalene. Whispering our creed, our rituals, our sacraments, the stars, our canopy. but once this I do believe I'll not see his like again as I
Thank you. Thanks. I'm going to go ahead and uh, retune now. Take a moment. So I can do more of my songs, including some new ones. And Kevin's request. So Larry, who was here last night, my friend and co-writer Larry, is really good at this, doing this. He does it like a hundred times on stage during a show. I, however, do not. I do it once. He's got the blue tuner. <laughs> yeah. I used to carry the floor tuner. I'm, I'm getting uh, lazy in my old age. I just carry this, like, almost nothing with me. He's just really good at it. It's just this one string. Come on, baby. Get up there. mentioned Larry, I think I'll go ahead and do one of the songs that he and I co-wrote together, which he probably played last night. So if you were here last night, you're going to hear it twice. We're going to have a vote afterward about which one was better. and The winner gets a free cup of tea. This is a song that I wrote with Larry about a friend of ours, a friend of mine named Paul Knight, who I actually just got to see because uh, where I met him was at the Tumbleweed Music Festival in Eastern Washington, which just happened Labor Day weekend, and I was just there. And um, I just stayed at his house, and he is a really awesome person who's a Vietnam veteran. And I first met him there at the festival. He put me up at his house, and he had a big American flag painted on his garage door, which has become kind of legendary in this little town of Richland, Washington for because of this song. Because um, uh, at the end of the, the year after we wrote it and both recorded it, it won the uh, John Lennon Songwriting Contest Grand Prize. And uh, Paul even got his picture in the paper in his hometown and everything was really fun. And then he gave me a Vietnam War medal. It's just this whole thing. Anyway, Paul's a very cool person. And um, every time I play this song, I send it out to Paul and to veterans everywhere. It's called Paul's Song. Paul painted a flag on his garage door Thought that meant I knew his heart and mind I made up mine, I made a joke before I met this old soldier, changed it for me in no time. Looks kind of right, but he's on the left. And he's better at the middle than anyone I've ever met. He's got his arms wide open to the ones coming home, those battered young women and men. How could he wave all glory like it was his friend? Why would he ever salute again?
Paul didn't know the flag before he went to war till his purple heart of gold became an open sore well he drank for a reason when he gave up those demons found what those colors stand for how could he wave all glory like it was his friend why would he ever salute again he didn't His corrugated stripes and stars Remind us of who we still are It's not a blanket or a shield It's raw and flawed and not all healed He's got to wear the neighborhood And see he still thinks it's good He just took those colors back Paul painted a flag on his garage door Thought that meant I knew his heart and mind But I was wrong and that's a fact If I could I'd take it back Just like he took those colors The way he took those colors Like he took those colors back His way Thank you. Thank you so much. Welcome. I'm going to do the song for Kevin. West. This is a song that takes can take you anywhere in your imagination. It can I think of it somewhere in Appalachia. And I think of the character in it as something like, uh, I don't know, John Prine when he's about 100 years old. And it's just a mm, typical Americana song about loss, loneliness, abandonment, you know, cheerful stuff. Kevin likes that kind of thing. It's called Hey Dog. so far I don't know where you are hey mama where are you going you've been gone way too long hey mama can't you see no one's left here Where are you going? 
Taking back everything I love. Another day is done. Another friend has cut and run. Hey, dog. house don't seem the same as when those kids were playing out there in those ragged weeds now that field has gone to seed and the paint is peeling I ain't feeling Thank you. We're going to do a couple of really new songs now that are not recorded that will be on the next CD. This is the, uh, the experimental part of the set. <laughs> um, this song is actually inspired by meditation, but <laughs> it's really about any kind of hard time. dedicated to everyone. It's called Waterproof.
to be prepared for every move. You can take another step, even when you least expect. You might get a little wet, but you'll get Thank you. Thank you so much. This is a song that I wrote um, pretty recently, and um, just uh, I'm playing it a lot lately. I was thinking a lot about it when um, this was just, I guess, a couple weeks ago. It was the anniversary of. Um, Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech, and I really wrote this song about and for all the people who've gone before us who have just done things that change things, the kind of things that we didn't think could change. Um, when you think about 50 or 100 years ago and people were sitting around going, this is never going to change. Slavery is never going to end, or you know, women are never going to vote, and there are things now that we feel that way about, and I think it's good to remember that there have been things throughout history that we felt that way about, and they changed. So um, it's good to be inspired to, to keep doing things, and the song is about that. It's called Because They Walked Before. our souls we used to raise our voices like you would because they walked before me I know where my feet be oh, I will never stand still when I see something wrong things can change our 
shoulders I can't see the world Teresa Helen Nelson I can't see the Thank you. Thanks. Thank you so much for being here. And um, I have one more song. I have two minutes left, I think. And I actually have a two-minute song for just that purpose. Um, this is a song off my last album. It's another kind of Appalachian kind of thing that happened. I'm sure it happened. It didn't happen to me. Um, anyway. Thank you so much for being here and for listening. I do have CDs for sale. I have a mailing list. If you want to know when I'm playing again in the area, I will be back. I used to live here, and I come here often. And thank you, Kevin, for keeping it going. It's awesome to be here. It's awesome to be back. Yeah, give Kevin a hand. He deserves it. Runs the place and does good sound, too. So thank you so much. Thanks for supporting all the musicians that play here. The song is called Jameson Brown. Thanks. Dusty cold, bones are getting old, shouldering a whole load. Doors locked at night, gun by my side, ready for a fight. Jameson Brown, pride of the town, bought my wedding gown. Where's my Jamie? 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 
thank you